Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lock Picking Vegan. Today I have something a little bit ridiculous for you. You go to the dollar store or Walmart or your home hardware store and you find one of these luggage locks, right? You might think, you know, you're locking up your luggage or you're locking up a backpack. Anyway, how it comes in the box is a preset code. In this case it was 000. And uh, you can open it up. If you turn it this way and hold it in this direction, you can reset it to whatever combination you want. Turn the shackle back around, close it, spin it up, and it would be quote unquote locked. So, I mean, obviously, this is a trinket. Uh, I got it in a box of two for a dollar twenty-five. The business that makes this is a tool bench if you can believe that imported from volvo parkway chesapeake i see a lot of different things here virginia and then something about canadian imports anyway this thing is i mean i shouldn't really have to pick into it on camera so that you know so that you could see that it's a rinky dink thing this is just uh, a tiny plastic a tiny plastic uh, casing with uh, a metal shacking metal shackle that is uh, um, the whole thing is laughable right so um, I bought it kind of as a joke to see what it would take to pick it I found uh, three ways to get into it let's go with number one the pick up the side Let's see if I can do that There we go. So that was uh, just a standard pick into the third slot. And I'm keeping mine not to damage the plastic shackle because I kind of wanted to keep this lock. So again, easy to damage, easy to pick. I can almost bet if I had a pair of vice grips, I could have done that. Uh, just grabbing onto the top with brute force and lifting it up, but then I probably would have broke the internal mechanisms, which again are all plastic. So let's go back to our code. We know it's zero zero zero. Again, I did that as a point to to prove that it doesn't really matter what the code is. With a pick through that uh, third number slot, you could get this thing unlocked. Anyway, the whole thing is comical. I'm just doing this for for lols, honestly because nobody buys anything like this and seriously thinks they're protecting anything. I sincerely hope not. So, uh, yeah, it still works. I didn't break it, and I'm actually going to give this to my 10-year-old to fiddle around with. So I didn't break it. That's picking. This is a thing about uh, these videos that I've been realizing is that, uh, you know, you can pick locks. You can do brute force. I mean, any I, I think almost anybody has a hacksaw. You know, any lock... Uh, can be broken into with a hacksaw virtually. I mean, I had a patio table stolen the other night from one of our restaurants, and the guy just used a hacksaw on a pickup truck. <laughs> so, you know, locks are only a deterrent, let's be honest. But if we're going to pick and call ourselves a lock-picking vegans, then we should be picking locks. So that's what I did. I picked this lock open. Another thing, another thing that I noticed um, is the indentations. So when you actually slide this into the right um, combination what you wind up doing is on, on the side of the in, inner spool here on these numbers there's a one cutout spot kind of like indented teeth so when you do that you're able to pull one two three teeth together and go up so uh, and open so one thing you could do is and this is another attack that I used is I shone a flashlight, shine a bright light right in there in that in this gap, and you can actually see 
the indentation when it comes around this way and I don't think this camera is going to pick it up so we know where the indentation is but if I start spinning around here and you had a bright light and you shone it right there you could actually see the cutout of where the the the, the female end of the of the lock is right and then the male end slides into it and um, yeah so then you just turn it around face it down face all these open uh, female slots down and then the male shackle part uh, that's connected to the shackle is able to pull into it like that on all three spots and come over and again you can bypass it that way you can stick the pickup there like I did this uh, shackle only goes down to about halfway so I just kind of push up in here and then push the shackle up Vice grips, I think brute force with just a hammer would probably do this. You could melt this. It's plastic, right? Any plastic lock assembly, you just melt it. Literally, you could light a fire under it, get a torch. Uh, again, hacksaw around it. This is just a joke and a kid's toy, and I'm actually literally giving it to my 10-year-old. In any case, that's all I have for you today. I think these people, whoever makes these uh, tool bench uh, should be ashamed of themselves if they honestly think that they're locking anything up in all sincerity. But, I mean, we all know that that's not keeping anybody out of your stuff. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com for more. And thank you for watching and have a great day.